slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No. No, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and uh, highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you! Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well... I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, there is uh, one private citizen. Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Officer? Head on inside. Hi. Hey. Hey, Sullivan. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Is that right? No bull? Well, if that's the case, let me put a down payment on some parts for the gate. Here you go. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. So, this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough, if you will. Oh, 
Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Nah, uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. Now I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better eat up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I'll be fine. Yeah, I've heard that before. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every 10 feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who are they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old-fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? 
the Institute or one of their agents? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. They just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that, that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Let's trade. This is what I've got. It well, if use anyone to could figure out a good use for it. thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful.
You should really talk to the pastor. Good to see someone new in the chapel. Diamond City treating you all right? 
This your chapel here, Pastor? Well, that depends. I suppose I should say this chapel really belongs to God. But since I never get around to deciding which God in particular, I guess you could say it belongs to all of them. Now, if you ever need a quiet place to sit down and ponder the Almighty in whatever form strikes your fancy, we're always open. You don't practice any particular religion here? As long as you believe in something, you're welcome. Diamond City is full of people trying to build a better life. I just don't want them to forget what makes them human while they're at it. So the chapel is open, 24 hours a day, to whatever form of worship you like, long as it's peaceful. Thanks, Pastor. Feel free to make yourself at home. First time, just try and keep it down. Not sure which god I'm supposed to be praying to. Pastor says it doesn't matter. Hope you're well. Anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary, come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Well, hello Looking there. For a haircut. The salon's Another one open of in the, the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? The poor and stupid? Oh, don't act like you don't know. There's two types of people in this town. The ones living in the stands and everyone beneath us. I know everyone in the stands and that doesn't include you. Now why don't you make yourself scarce? Who are you anyway? Ann Codman of the Codman family? Of the upper stands? If you haven't heard of us, that just shows how unimportant you are. Now, were you leaving or not? Bitch. What did you say? Oh, whatever. I'm done talking to you. Oh, man. You got a robot butler? I want a robot butler. Oh. Wow, you're tall. My dad says not to talk to strangers. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. What it's do you all say? Understands. Yes. may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. What do you sell here? Everything, Mum. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Let's see what you have. Here you are. Are we pack rats now, Mom?
I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Be betrayed! We're always open! Hey there, lady. Hi. Trying to take some time off over here. Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is gonna get you I snatched up by the sin. Only a Diamond City surplus! Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Something nice? Oh, Nick. Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this... Skinny Malone character. I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast aways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Hey. Can I be of service? Codsworth. Anything I can do for you? What do you think about our relationship? I find our relationship in the best of health, Mum. There's no one else I'd rather have by my side. Your thoughts? All this fuss over a detective. I do hope Mr. Valentine is worth it, but then again, anything is worth the risk when it comes to finding young Sean. Your thoughts? I met an atheist who worked for a charity the other day. She said it was a non-profit organization. Oh, nothing. All right, then.
Oh, um. Hi. There. Travis. Hey. I mean, I mean, I mean. Hi. Again. Uh. Hi. Hi. Everybody, everybody, I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind, and that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years, and what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. Hey. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. Don't touch the paint. Don't worry, I won't. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? What do you need done? You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? What can you tell me about Hardware Town? Raiders moved in a ways back. Security says they can't handle them. That's why I'm running low. So, you still up for it? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged.
Word is, something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. General Atomic's finest, thank you very much. Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even... Aha! Uh -ha. You do want to talk about it. Uh, oh, look, we have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear. If you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there! Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Biology lesson? That's right. Usually the kids from the schoolhouse are the first to drop by, but I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but... Which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. Now, gamma rays are bad. Really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? What kind of things have adapted to radiation? Oh, that's the perfect segue into the field trip portion of the lesson. Are you ready? Field trip? That's right. You go out, do some science of your own, and come back. I usually have a prize for the best junior scientist, which, I guess, is just automatically going to you. What do you say? Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloatfly gland. You see, the oversized bloatfly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? Get the bloatfly gland. Got it. Remember, bring the gland back in one piece. Oh, and don't chew on it. One of the students got horribly sick because of that mistake. Professor Skara? Dr. Duff handles all the visitors. Bother her. Dissecting a bloatfly can be fun. Just avoid getting stung to death, and you'll be a junior scientist in no time. I do for you, sweetheart. Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout inn, and that's the booze. You just gotta eat. What can I say? You've been to good the neighbor? real Diamond City boy. Friggin' eats at the noodle stand. Ghouls and chemheads all over. I need to talk. 
just a minute yet, Tim. I am in middle of story. So then, I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When the out comes, the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Redeem! I forgot Excuse you were me. There yet. You'll find I'm what very persistent. You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> I'll take a look, sure. Good, good. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing, I ain't heard nothing. Don't talk to me. Might attract someone's attention. Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. Who owns this bar, anyway? The Bobrov brothers picked this place up a few years ago. Uh, Vadim Bobrov is the loud one, Yefim Bobrov is the quiet one, and I'm the one that has to listen to them argue with each other all day. Let me think it over. Hit the bar if you change your mind. your enemy. They are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. Yes.
finally sussed it out, did we? Oh, a customer. Need a room? What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. All right. Here's your money. You're in room two, just through the door. Hey, Yefim. Have a nice day. Funny, I was expecting more of a sports bar. I say, my good man, what's the house special at the old dugout inn? Only the best moonshine in the Commonwealth. Bobra's best, I call it. Robot should try. See if he's strong enough to power that engine, yes? <laughs> While an alternate fuel source would be beneficial, I'm afraid I must decline. General Atomics warranty stipulations only guarantee repairs and replacements when using the designated Mr. Handy fuel. Perhaps you miss out on once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but I don't doubt that one bit. But just say, should the need arise, I shall surely seek out your services. Throw up all over my floors. Hey, you that trader up from Quincy? You sell any ointment? I got me this itch. Don't move, Synth! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Synth! Don't shoot, for God's sakes! We're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Move along! I need you to step away, Scabber. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened better that way. Hey. What's everyone still standing around for? He Go back to your own damn business. My God. Kyle, why didn't you listen to me? I told you I wasn't a cent. What happened? I'm, I'm not a cent. I, I told them. I, I kept... Telling him, why didn't he listen to me? I, uh, I need a minute. Who needs a haircut? Everyone needs a haircut. Step up. John. Around here, we call your haircut the scab special. A little flex of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Eh, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. 
Yeah, all right. Just sit down, relax, and let the magic happen. Hey, you there. Talk some sense into my net worth son. Morgana's secretary, is she a synth? Uh, what? Hmm? You know what a synth is, right? Those machine people the Institute makes? Looks and acts just like the real thing? Only I think they made Geneva a little too perfect. No woman looks like she does, all perky. So she's a synth, right? She has to be. Back up. What's the Institute? Oh my god, really? What hole did they drag you out of, Southie? The Institute are the ones who kidnap people, replace them with synths? Not that McDonough would ever admit it. Papers right about him. Are you gonna answer my question? Geneva, is she a synth? No idea. You don't know? What? Born without a brain between your ears? You just said no one could tell the difference, Ma. She don't know if Geneva's a synth, and neither do you. So could you lay off? Don't you talk to your mother that way, Johnny. Doctor. A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Patch me up, Doc. Tell me your symptoms. Too much radiation. I feel sick. All right. Let's flush your system. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? No. More done. Off you go, then. Hey, Doc. Don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. I need some supplies, Doctor. All right. But go easy on the chems. Nothing to see here. Hey. Got everything you could need. Medics, mentats, whatever. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. All the chems you need to fill out your lifestyle. Balance you out. Everyone here buys from me. Sometimes security needs a little psycho, or an engineer needs some mentats. And heck, Rad X is plain universal. Looking for a job, if you've got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking Rad X or Rad Away. What do you need again? Mutated fern. Here it's dynamite for making radiation meds. You interested? Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool.
the hub of trade for all Diamond City right here. Hey. You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Why would you think I'm a synth? Why wouldn't I? A synth looks just like a person, with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business are you running here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. Sure. Let's take a look. Everything you need. If there's a use to that, I'll eat my hat. <clears throat> hey, you're the new girl, right? The new girl? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Sure. Let's take a look. Everything hand-tooled. Swatters, right here. Let's go. Bash is in the common.